Greg, I got a question for you. Shoot. Why would anybody build their own rod? That's a good question, and one we get a lot of at Mudhole. Uh, you know, I can, I can speak for myself. I've been fishing for 35 years and always used to use store-bought rods and in recent years started building my own. And the reason why I did it is when I go into a retail shop and browse the rod selections and they look great, but I hold it up to my arm and it's not, you know, the butt end isn't resting on my forearm the way I want it. They don't have the action or power that I want for a specific lure or fishery or time of year. Uh, so I just started building my own. You know, I got a kit and started building and what it allows me to do now is is really just dial in on the technical side towards the species yeah. and uh, or just have fun with colors and, and do kind of silly builds and things like that. Yeah, but, yeah. Cool. And so, you know, as far as hobby goes, you know, I'm at my computer eight to ten hours a day. Right. And I've learned I need to go do something with my hands, whether it's splitting wood or <laughs> getting into my tackle shop and tinkering with tackle, tying flies, or building rods. Yeah, it's a great point. Uh, fishermen have always been great tinkerers, tinker with our boats and our rods and our, certainly our lures and it's just an extension of that and there's really yeah. like, uh, if I was to break it into two groups, one would be technical, one would be like aesthetics and more of the craft of rod building. The technical side, you can, like we were talking about, you can really dial in if you want a flipping stick down in Florida where I'm from, yeah. uh, you'd think a flipping stick's a flipping stick. but. Actually, there's a diverse uh, you know, number of options and, and lure weights and techniques. And you know, we want a seven foot, seven and a half. Some people go up to eight and a half feet. So you can't really get that in a retail shop, those kinds of options. So that's why we build our custom rods. And then there's the craft and hobby aspect. You know, people spend days on intricate weaving patterns. And, yeah. It looks gorgeous, and if you want to go down that road, that's awesome. Yeah. I'm kind of in the middle. I want a little <laughs> bit performance. I want it to look the way I want it to sure. look, but you know, it's it's just that kind of hobby, right? Yeah. You can get a little or a lot out of it. Well, another cool thing about it, if you have like your dad or your kids or a, a buddy that's right. into uh, uh, certain fishing, you can build them a custom rod, and, and there's not only reward that 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 you built that rod, he's, they're really gonna appreciate that you made that rod for them. Yeah, and it's whether you built it or a friend or family member has built it for you, there's yeah. nothing like catching a fish on a custom rod. Yeah. So yeah. they're really fun to build. Cool, cool. Well, let's get started. <laughs> let's uh, build one. All right.